Senator? Yes. Thank you, sir. The President. Yes. Senator Eastland on 9-1. Yeah, Mr. President, how you feel? I'm doing all right. I hope you are. You got a lot of sunshine down there? Need some rain. We need rain, my bad. Well, we're so dry in my country that we're going to have to sell off all of our cattle if we don't get a rain. Well, I'm in the same shape. Got a cotton crop that's burning up. I've been doing. I thought you'd be harvesting cotton 47. When is July? Yeah. I guess they're harvesting the valley right now. Oh. Jim, we got three kids missing down there. What can I do about it? Well, I don't know. I don't believe there's I don't believe there's three missing. We got their parents down here. I believe it's a publicity stunt. They say that uh, their parents are here and they've come down to see the attorney general and they've seen Bert Marshall and they're going to be interviewed by the FBI as a part. And they've got some newspaper people and some photographers with them and a couple of congressmen, Congressman Ryan and this Republican Congressman Ogden Reed, whose folks used to own the Herald Tribune in New York. Yeah. They want to come to the White House to see the president. And I told them that I thought that that would be better to let Lee White, who handles matters like that, for me, uh, talk to him, and he'd go up to Ryan's office and talk to him. I don't know whether that's going to be satisfactory or not. Uh, the Attorney General called over while I was out. He thought I ought to make a statement on it. I made one in my press conference this morning. Scotty Reston said, Mr. President, do you have any information about those three kids that disappeared in Mississippi? And I said, the FBI has a number of men who are studying it, and we've asked them to spare no effort to secure information and report to us. I've had no reports but at breakfast, but at that time I understood that the FBI had forces in that area looking into it. Several weeks ago, I asked them to anticipate the problems that would come from this, and they've set extra FBI personnel in the area. They have substantially augmented their personnel in the last few hours, and that's all I said. Well, that's all right. Now, I'm going to tell you why I don't think there's a damn thing to it. They were in, put in jail in Philadelphia in East Mississippi, right next to county, right next to John Stennis' home county. And they were going to uh, Meridian. There's not a Ku Klux Klan in that area. There's not a citizen's council in that area. There's no organized white man in that area. So that's why I think it's a publicity stunt. Now, if it had happened in other areas, uh, I would uh, pay more attention to it, but I'm, I happen to know that uh, some of these bombings where nobody gets hurt, uh, uh, publicity stunts. This Negro woman in rural that's been to Washington and testified that she was shot at 19 times is lying. Of course, anybody that gets shot at 19 times is going to get hit. And she hadn't been shot at a time, and nobody's tried to to bother her. They let us set in on the Democratic, in the Democratic County Convention this morning. Uh, uh, I don't think there's anything to it. But uh, well, now here's what I'm calling you about as my friend. Number one, they said I ought to make a statement. I've made this statement. I think I'll stand on it. Do you see any need of my going any further? No. All right, that's number one. Number two, they suggested I see these parents. I told them I thought that'd be a bad person. I'm going to try to get them to see an assistant of mine and to get by with that if I can so I don't add to the fuel. Uh, you, 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 don't you, you think that's the thing to do? Sure, and I think it's going to turn out that there's nothing to it. Now, I don't know, but... Now, number three, uh, they, the Attorney General suggested that I probably ought to call the governor. I found out that Bert Marshall Call the Attorney General of uh, Patterson of Mississippi this morning. He was quite cooperative. He said they were going to do everything they could to help. Uh, I, if I call the governor, it might uh, put him on the spot a little bit, particularly if it got public, and they might resent it. Now, what's your judgment? Well, my judgment is that he's going to do everything he can, and is doing everything he can to enforce the law. All right, now, should I call him or not? Well, it'd be all right. Would you advise it or not advise it? No, I'm not going to advise you. I don't think it would mean anything either way. He's going I can call him and... Uh, you just do the 
that, and I'll say I've communicated with, with the, the proper people, and I'm doing everything I can with everybody I know. All right. I'll call him and talk to him about it. But I'd, rather, I'd rather work with you. Now, you tell him that I want to see him any time he wants to now. I told you and John Stennett we want to get this bill out of the way so they couldn't say I was trading and selling out. Now, it's out of the way. You tell him any time he wants to. Well, uh... I'm ready. This boy in this, what, uh, Katzenbach said to arrange it one day next week after the 6th. All right, that's good. So you just... And I'm going to, I was going to talk to him this afternoon. All right, you just tell him... Let me ask you this question about these three that are missing. Who is it to harm them? There's no organ, there's no white organizations in that area of Mississippi. Who would, who would could possibly harm them? Well, I have some crank or some nut. Like uh, they, they lock the man up and they have to say he's going to kill me Friday when I go out there. It'll, it'll, it'll take a crowd to handle, make three men disappear. Well, it depends on the kind of men, Jim. Huh? It depends on the kind of men. Well, there's nobody in that area to harm them. It might take a big crowd to take three like you. <laughs> well, I imagine it wouldn't take many to capture me. <laughs> well, I'd run. All right. Well, now you you get that uh, you get that rain for both of us and send it on east when you get through using it. I'll do it. Now you tell the governor I send my regard. I want to work with him. Now we got a party conciliator under this wall, Jim. I've got to have some southerner that know something about the South and that the Negroes uh, will have confidence in and want to, want to say that I've uh, fixed them. If you've got any ideas, anybody's worth a damn, I wish you'd let me know. I'll do it. I tried to get the mayor of Atlanta today, and he wouldn't take it. I didn't know that. Well, I asked him, and he said he wouldn't take it. Some of them have suggested that I try to uh, get Dave Lawrence from Pennsylvania, but he's been governor, and he wouldn't want to take it. Some of them have suggested that I get a mayor from North Carolina. I don't know him. One of them suggested that I get uh, uh, Leroy Collins. I don't know whether he can get out of the uh, association he works for or not. Well, he's a damn cheap double crosser and a liar. And he's a strictly dishonest. Now, he agreed that the convention, before he but it to recognize us to vote for you. And he went back on his word, and I called him a goddamn lying son of a bitch out there. Well, we don't want him to do it. Hell no. All right, I'll tell him that. Now get some... Retain your self-respect and vote him, and support a man that fought to you like he did. All right. Okay, much better. Well, I'll... You think of anybody you can, give me a ring. I'll do it. 